This is how to see if your hard drives are working correctly. This is a pretty simple method. Uh, you can go more in depth, but this is really just a straightforward kind of easy way to tell. Uh, what I'm using is uh, G Smart Control. Uh, you've got to have the drives, of course. Uh, I'm using some SATAs for this. I've got an external reader. You don't have to have that. You can put them in your PC if you want to. That'll take a little more time. I'm not going to go over the external reader, but it hooks up and I pop them in. I pop them out if I want to. What we do is we go to here. Basically, uh, you can just Google that, G Smart Control, and then go to downloads, and then you download it and install it. Uh, depending on what you got, one to seven or later, uh, I imagine most people would be that. If you're not sure, use that. It'll install for you. Click that and it will download. Don't uh, download it to your TRS-80 Radio Shack folder. I'll just put this in in my downloads. I've got Crystal Disk Info. I don't really care for that program. Um, it doesn't seem to go as in depth as G Smart Control. And it looks like it's from 2007, which eats their own. It's just, it's not for me. I don't really care for it. So I'll go ahead and save it and uh, run as administrator. And you just say yes. Next, next, shortcuts. There we go. And it installs. Finish. There we go. It's got my two drives that are in my PC right now. So I'm going to pop this one in. It says dead. It's a Hitachi blah, blah, blah. You don't need to know the number on that. One thing to note is that the 2.5, the laptop drives take a lot less time to show up on here than um, the three fives. And this one is clicking. That's why I've got it marked as dead. So you go to rescan. This doesn't rescan automatically and it will show. There we go. This is an old Apple one. You can go to view details. And it'll show you all this. Um, it gives you the serial number, firmware version, blah, 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 um, the capacity. So attributes right here. And these will show as red if there's some sort of failure. This one didn't show anything after I did a test, but it's physically clicking. So I am not going to use this. Now, if anything shows up red, I don't feel comfortable putting data on there. I don't want to put anything on a hard drive that is likely going to fail much sooner than any other hard drive. This program does give a power on time, power cycle count right there. It's not too terribly high on this one. It's okay, but it is physically clicking, which is why I'm not going to use it. Now, if you hover over anything, um, except for unknown attribute. <laughs> so if you hover over power cycle, it tells you that's the number of power start stop cycles. Now, if you go to some of them, like the temperature here, it'll give you a more in-depth uh, explanation, although you probably know what temperature is. Offline uncorrectable. So there you go. You may not know what that is. It gives you a, a huge breakdown of what that is. And often if there is anything red, it will show on the bottom with the description of that. So I will go ahead and pop this out. And if you're not really worried about the drive, it's failing, you just pop the thing out. It doesn't matter if data is being read to it. If you're not going to use it, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, rescan that should not be on there anymore. I'm going to put some in there that showed up with some red on them. This is another two five. Rescan it. There we go. And you can do the perform tests. That will bring you straight, um, straight to the test right here. Everything looks about the same. If you were to click that or view details, just details opens it up on the first panel general right there. Self test opens it for right there. Now, as you can see, there's some red right here attributes. That's what I was telling you about. You'll, if you hover it over it, you'll see on the bottom. And if I move my mouse down there, it just disappears. So, uh, just look down there at the bottom. It says notice in red. It's an indication of future failures or potential data loss in the bad sectors. That does give a description of why it's red and in statistics, there we go. Now some will have more than others, and this is the error log. I think it stores on the drive, because there are some drives that I put on here to read into this program, and I'd never done that with these before, and it already had error log. So I imagine they retain the error log on the drive itself, but I'm not 100%. That's my assumption. I'm not going to use this one because it is taking a nosedive eventually. These were all ones that I just had sitting around that I hadn't done anything with in years. So I'm fine with just tossing these. Those are the basics of the program. It goes a little bit more in depth. I'm not going to go too much more in depth than that, but that gives you a general overview. And I will also show you, this is a three, five. Oh, so I'm going to put this one in and I'll show you one of the tests. You can do a long test or a short two minute test on the smaller drives, the 2.5s, the, the longer test is going to take a lot less time. Now on a bigger drive, especially yeah, if it's, if it's not SSD, if it's got platters in it long while to read. And I only put one SSD in this and it was a two five and it still scanned. It still took two minutes. If you put a USB drive in here, it doesn't do the test. It'll give details, but it won't do anything. There's nothing on this it takes a while to spin up and you want to rescan every time just to make sure that the new one shows up and you're not trying to mess with one that you've already taken out. We'll go to perform tests and see this one 
the stats right there. Time and over temperature. That one, I wouldn't really worry about all that much. We'll go to self test estimated duration 60 seconds and there is an extended one this one's five hours and 30 minutes i'm not going to do that like if i was going to go to work and come back yeah i could i could do that and just leave it to do its thing but i'm not going <laughs> to click that and just stand here and watch it so we'll go to the short test and execute that and another thing that might happen if you do the short self test that happened with this specific drive may happen now as well but it gets almost to the end and then just hangs it doesn't do it doesn't do anything at all so we shall see once it gets to, I think it was about here. Oh, it did. It did, uh, did complete successfully last time I didn't, but I was swapping a lot of these in and out. So I don't know, maybe, maybe I did something wrong. It happens. I'm human. Human error is a real thing. So this one seems to be okay. The drives that have platters in them, make sure they fully spin down. You want to pop them out and they're spinning and you move them in the wood and you drop them. So I almost did that with a couple earlier that, uh, it's not a, fun, not a fun time to dent the floor, hurt your foot, whatever. But anyway, that is a quick overview of this uh, program. It's not sponsored by them. I've just gone through a bunch of programs, and this is the one that best fit what I was looking for. It gives a lot of detail. Uh, there's a lot of breakdowns um, with various things to do with the drives, but I really like this one a lot, and it is free. So if you are in need of something like this, by all means, use this. I hope this helps somebody. Have a good day.